of the sails, but the wind is just too strong. And the Bible says that the wind goes contrary against them. What happens in our lives whenever we have situations and storms? And I, I got problems on all sides. I look to my left. I look to my left and there's a problem. I look to my right and there's a problem. I look behind me and there's a problem. I look forward and there's a problem. And I can't see God in my situation. I can't see how a miracle can take place because all I'm focused on is the wind. All I'm focused on is the storm. What happens when God sends winds contrary to you? What do you do? What happens in your life when contrary winds come to you? The Bible says that when the winds were contrary to them, they began to use their own ability. We read here in verse 48, Jesus saw them toiling and rowing with their own strength. Uh -huh. So they, they were rowing. As you know, they're rowing and they're using their own muscles and they're looking at each other and they're scared and they're saying, Peter, come on, go harder. Peter, go faster. I can't handle it. Come on, man. At the same time, ho! And they could not get control with their own ability. Right. And Jesus is watching them in the midst of the sea. He's seen them toiling. He saw the wind was contrary. And about the fourth watch of the night, then he came unto them. So Jesus waited until the fourth watch of the night. Can you imagine that? A lot of times when we go through situations, we're asking God to do it right now. We're asking God to deliver me right now. And a lot of times, Jesus is in your midst. Jesus is in your storm watching you struggle. Oh, you're not used to this type of Jesus because the world talks about a Jesus that just delivers you whenever you call on his name. It's just, you know... Sometimes Jesus lets you struggle when you try to fix your own abilities. You try to fix your own circumstances and storms and try to handle it with your own creativity, your own mind, your own thinking. And the Bible says, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask for to think according to the power that works in us. So what's the problem here? The problem is they're using their own ability. Yeah. How many times do we do this? How many times do you struggle with alcohol or maybe cigarettes or nicotine or some type of drug or some type of addiction to pornography and you try to break free from it with your own ability? You're saying, God, I love you. God, I want to do great things for you, but I can't stop doing this. And Jesus is looking at you saying, yeah, you can't stop doing it, but I can help you to stop doing it. 